You. And I'll have these two research. We'll research the genre economic simulator. You do some contract work on your own, please. You can do that. You guys do more trading. Sound. And do some more contract work. Bliss. Yeah, these guys are a lot better in everything all of a sudden. I like that. You've, your, you've researched your first genre. We should try to mix genres to create something new for the players. Subgenres is now available. Good. Let's do some more contract work while we're at it. You guys research the topic mathematics. Yoink. Math. Mathematics. More contract work? Plus. No more contract work. Good. Now let's add two more features. And then we will develop an engine. Jungle Jumper, The Force of Sword, Blizzard Entertainment, 9, and IQ versus AI. Can't imagine that it's a horrible uh, game. <laughs> to be honest. So the music for dummies. You must have been a horrible... You've reached the third year. To make your games known, you should build a marketing department. It's now unlocked. I think I shall. Just a small one. 3x3. Three three. Yoink. Good. More features. And as their skills increase, their speed and work will, will increase as well. So we have no publishing offers. We do have production contracts. But we don't have production yet. And I'm no fan of production. I'll tell you. Color tech. And Minivision is taken off the market. One more feature to research, scrolling. Fighting is now popular. And now we are gonna research B-sized games for 100,000. And while you will develop us a new engine. It is optimized for economic simulator. Uh, let's see. I want to name my engines after Twitch viewers. An e, we have. I know that Emin is a viewer. The Eminomic engine, named after Emin, it's gonna have all of these features. And we're selling it for 10,000 with a share of 10%. Do it. Right, and then office work. We can actually do programming and. Oh wait, we didn't do graphics yet. Let's do graphics. Commander C63. Also known as the Commodore 64. My very, f or actually the very first console that we had at the, my house. Uh, 
the engine is done. So, I'd say, let's bring in the peeps. To make us a game that is mathematics with economic simulator. It is going to be a B-sized game with the economic engine. Now let's head over to the guide. Economic simulator is good for adults. Right. We'll release it on you, but we have B plus games. I'll get the Commodore 64 because I know that eventually that'll be more popular. And then, economic simulator. We want minus one for you, plus five for you, plus five for you, and these two minus five. We have to copy protection, yoink. Grab that, select that. Do we have any fair ladders? Would have liked more languages, of course, and it still has sold extremely well. Right, second part of this page nine. We have economic simulators. Where are ya? Here. Graphics are not important. Actually, this importance 5%. 35% and there. Wait, is that correct? 10 to 30, yeah, that is. Uh, we have some money to spare, so we'll actually do the five main languages. Well, let's develop this game. Well, the two of you, go do some training. We'll do a small booth for the up... Oh, wait. I forgot to name the game. Sure, we'll do it for game number four. <laughs> and luckily, we can still rename the game to... Math Tycoon. Math... Class Tycoon. <laughs> Math Class Tycoon. Why not? <laughs> there. This one should be uh, really popular. Because we've got some features, we've got the proper genre, we've got the proper uh, topic. We've got a new genre to unlock. I'm gonna check Skype really quick. Okay, let's publish the game. Find a publisher. Let's see, Eco Simulators. That's Adventure, that is Adventure. Nobody has a popular, oh wait, you do. Five dollars? Ah, sure. We'll do it. 78%. Good sounds, good topic, good genre. So, let's update the game really quick because it has a couple of bugs. It's not going to remove all of them in this one. Well, that's okay. Now let's continue to update the box. Yoink. Yeah, I think that we're gonna make some money with this. One more. Quick update. Yoink. Ah, the hype is dropping. 
Do we need another one for the bugs? Yes. Ah, we need another one for the bugs. Really? Come on. Fine. We'll do one more for the bugs. And with that, in three weeks, this combination will be no longer popular. So, how about you guys just do some contract work in the meantime? Still made half a million off it already, that is good. Some more contract work. And nothing. Luckily, not the worst game either. Uh, let's see, you're really good with music. You're too. You go here. Economic simulator with cowboys. Okay. So the two of you, go research me some co cowboys. In that case. Cowboys. And let's see if there's a subtopic that we can do. Western, perhaps. World wizards, werewolves, viruses. Nope. Vikings, nope. UFOs, trucks, trolls, treasure, treasure hunters, transportation. I know that economic simulation and transportation is a good combination, but with cowboys? Let's see, survival, superheroes, submarines, stone, stone age, steampunk, squirrel, special forces, spaceships, space stations, sheep! Cowboys and sheep! We've got a combination, guys! Splendid. Yoink. And then Hector Doomhammer. You go back in. You guys develop me a game. Sheep or er, er, tycoon. It's gonna be a B size game for adults with cowboys and sheep. It's gonna be an economic with the economic we have a good license, for instance. Dagger, wheels on full. Who frames Roger Rabbit? The All Ex President's Men. Mommy Returns. Global Combat Games, wheels on fools. Nah. Without engine, that is. So we'll do this and that because it already has an 8.8% .8 market share. We'll keep everything as is. And as is. And as is. Let's do it. Polygonal 3D renderer. Ooh, we've got six additional graphics for Sheep Herder Tycoon. Lovely. The publisher and ooh, the marketing can pay for a math class tycoon. Lovely. It helped a little bit. Just a little bit. And we're still ma oh we already made a million of uh math class tycoon. Lovely. And we're getting 50% more sales because of a video game boom! Beautiful! One of your games has countless bugs. The quality assurance room is now available. You can proceed effectively against bugs. And we have received enough or reached enough sound points to have the sound studio. 
I'm not gonna release the game just yet, as a matter of fact. Quality assurance. 5 by 3. Yoink. Gotta get you and you out of there to go work on some bugs removal. And then you and you research some features while we're at it. Good. We have no bugs. Let us publish the game. Uh, anyone else? Nope. So it's uh, Kemco again. And now we have released our fifth game. We can release it on three platforms simultaneously. Yoink! 87% with good sounds, good topic, and good genre. And what we're gonna do now is create some game reports. And what I forget to do is, let's see, good office worker, you are gonna do some marketing for me. Auto repeat, stop once the marketing hype is max for uh, Sheep Herder Tycoon posters. And you guys just keep creating game reports automatically. And the two of you research that other feature. That is done. Hey, marketing campaign for Sheep Herder Tycoon. Uh, now let's do a small booth for Sheep Herder Tycoon. Yeah. We have many loyal fans. We should hire a few people to care for fans. Support is now available. Fine. Let's do a very small support room. Where is it? Customer support. 3x3. Three three. And we'll hire one person with good office work or what else for that. And you start a fan campaign. Auto repeat some telemarketing calls. Right. Two of you go back in here because we need updates for this game. Sheep Herder Tycoon. And because we have quality assurance, we don't need to worry about the bugs anymore. Ever again. Oh, wait. You're 100% in graphics already. So it's useless for you to be in here. As a matter of fact. You go in here then. You go in here then. There. There. You're done, so... You were done already. Where's the other person? You go in. Uh, do another update. Doink. Another video game boom! Awesome! Math Class Tycoon, 1.38 million dollars. Beautiful! Yeah? You're done. So, let's see. You. I'm just going to switch over people. Good. One more update. Should be enough. 
Oh, wait. We need to do more updates for this game because it's all of a sudden the video game boom. <laughs> yep. It's gonna be very beneficial. Right, you have nothing else to do. So, let's have a look at the completed game reports. Crocodiles and wrestling is not a good combination. So that is why this didn't do any better. Same with this, obviously. Crocodiles... Is that. Okay. Prison labor. We have a good combination. We have everything good. But it just wasn't good enough, because we didn't have good graphics, I guess. Mathematics... And... Uh, economic Simulator is not a good combination, apparently. Cowboys, Sheep and Economic Simulator is not a good combination at all. Okay. So I guess that you could go get some graphics done too. We have no new features available. Uh, more languages than sheep herder tycoon? Perfect. We'll get right on it. Language pack. Oh, we didn't do all... Uh, sure, we'll do all of the languages. Okay, we're done with this. Let's do some office work. We're keeping our fans happy. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> that's me. Uh, anything that you can do in the meantime? Yeah. You go research. Okay, now that we have quality assurance, we can um, uh, research a couple of more things to make our future games even better. Game balance, performance, controls, user interface, level, game mechanics. And because we have the sound studio unlocked, we don't have it built yet, we can improve the overall sound quality, realistic sound effects, atmospheric ambient sounds, bonus track, cinematic music, and professional voice recordings. The other two require different rooms. So, I think I will start out with game balance. Come on! Languages... I don't think it's gonna make it. We only have two people working here. Okay. 1.3 million and we're gonna just cancel the project. Yes. We are going to wait with a new engine. But we're gonna improve the old engine. 1.1 we're gonna add some features for 70,000 11, sure two weeks and then we'll have a new trend we have a platformer with wizards Splendid. Okay, two of you. Go research me the genre of platformer. The two of you, let's see what are your skills. Okay, 
you get game design and programming. We'll have to wait until we have the new genre unlocked to get the new engine. You're done, that's perfectly fine. Oh wait. You go here then, you get that. And research the topic of wizards. You guys develop me a new engine. Optimized for platformers. This one is named after you, Packy. The Packformer. Good. Uh, we're not going to participate. And I think that with wizards, widgets should also be a good topic for this. Ooh, sp split screen multiplayer. We, we won't do that yet. Right, so you guys go in here. No, wait. Programming 100, good. So stop that and then get game design really quick up to 100. Uh, you just research the feature, sure. And once you are at 100% here, I'll put you in here. There. 100%. Let's see you. Good graphics. Good graphics. And who else? Good graphics. You're overall really good. So... We'll complete the engine really quick, and then we'll develop a game. Focus. Focus. Because there is actually a game, like... Actually, screw that. We'll just call it Hocus Pocus. There's a game, like early 90s. I used to play that at my grandparents' place. That is called Hocus Pocus. It's a platformer about wizards and witches. But I need to have a look-see. Platformers. Let for mirth. Where are you? Skill, puzzle, sports, jump and run. Why is there a platformer? <laughs> uh, we'll do adults, sure. Uh, wizards. Versus Witches with Platformer. And it will be a Platformer Arcade. This is the first time that we'll use a sub-genre. Uh, with a Platformer engine, do we have a good license? The Carnivore, the Lemma, and Dreamhacks? Nah, let's not. Right. Platformer. So PC, C63, and the third platform that we will be doing will be bot right now. Ah, the Nintendo NES, of course. I never had that console, by the way. So I see zero. I thought I saw zero. I saw minus one. Plus one and zero. I believe it has to be like this. Yes. New copy protection was there. There we have it. And then we have to look at this. 